Ah, it's just a reward. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. It was a whole extended thing to get in here. An ancient core! All of this for an ancient core. Hopefully it's worth it? Because that's a... Uh... I don't know. It's kind of a letdown to do all that and it'd be like, you get currency item. As opposed to like, you get the Triforce of Power or something like that. Obviously not, but like, something unique and special is what you kind of hope to get. So when it's that, you're like, huh. Alright. Sure. 64 out of 120. Two upgrades waiting for me once I get back to an upgrade type location. I guess I'm gonna go fight a Hinox now, just cause... I mean, boss fights are unique, right? Might as well try to do them all. Which reminds me that I should then try to find that one that I never did. Yeah! I can't the oh it was his eye glows, that's freaky. He's just totally fire resistant. Did I just throw away my entire weapon? No I didn't. Oh he doesn't like being on fire, does he? He seems like he might respond poorly to that. I can't see crap. Well, this does mean alarm. Holy crap, fighting him in the dark is crazy. Go, go, go! I can't see anything right now. Holy crap. Yes, apparently. Keep going. Get away. He's gonna butt stomp us. That's what they always do. Nope. There we go. Got him. You can't tell. You can't see it, but you just gonna you just gotta believe me. I totally got him. I did so good. What do we get? P Oop. Right, lots of food and pieces of him. Toenails, gross. Gross. Knight's bow, the usual. Hey you, why aren't you lit up? Not that I got most of you. Not that it's not that you can really tell around here. Unless he was maybe he was putting out some of the fires the swiping. That would kinda make sense. All right, he knocks down. That's a brand new knight's bow, so I should probably swap him out. You're the one that's not new. It's weird, it's getting slightly weird how often I find specifically a knight's bow over and over again. All right. Well, this has been an event. I suppose I should try to leave. Somehow. Right, right. I know how to leave. I know how to get back to the entrance. This has been an adventure. I'm happy this happened. I'm still wondering how many secrets are left out there. Obviously, this is the, anything involving the guardian beast could be cool too. But uh, I'm wondering what other secrets are involving these like little weird encapsulated places. Like we've had three shrines now. Not not shrines. We've had three mazes so far. Okay, so the fires are going out. Oh, that disappoints me actually. I would hope that they'd be permanent, because then you could feel like you're making progress in the overall appearance of this place. But these fires are clearly going out. Ah, Bummer. Ah, I lit the torch. We did it, though. So there's this place, Eventide Isle, there's the three labyrinths, there's the Divine Beasts, and so on. Looks totally different from inside it out. Oh yeah, there's like a dark dome over it. That's interesting. Because, yeah, when I was walking in, the place looked so nondescript, but I don't think I realized why. Because I didn't quite notice that, like, the place was very specific. I didn't notice that the place was specifically, uh... Here we go. I didn't notice the place was, like, specific. Oop. Let's grab you real quick. 
that it was specifically like actually a dark dome. I just was like, oh look, nondescript spot. I wonder what's over there because it's a big open area. But it's not a big open area. It's literally got a dark, literally got a dark dome over. It. I'm just grabbing insects out of the air right now because I've got the stealth clothes on. That's funny. All right. Well, that was a worthy detour. I'd n I would never would have guessed that, that was going to happen. Don't have you yet. Oops. I suppose I should try to photograph all these... All these, uh... Insects I'm seeing flying around. They probably count too. I just barely noticed them at first. So there was something over the ridge I was interested in jumping towards until I got sidetracked by jumping in the exact opposite direction a moment ago. What'd that place look like again? That could be interesting too, but that's like a burned down forest at the base of a mountain, so... I should probably get the, uh... The local waypoint first, the, the tower, I mean. And then also maybe some heat-resistant gear before I try that kind of stuff. Right, because here was the weird plateau area. But can I get across without it, like, dumping me out of the sky like it did before? Hopefully this place isn't also burning hot, because... I won't have a rapid escape plan after flying over here. Oh, it's now it's leaning towards cold. Was that a yahaha? Did I just hear a korok sound? I just got kicked out. Y'all did not just boot me out of this place. What is going on in this mystery land? Interesting. There does appear to be like a giant, like, cherry blossom tree in the middle of it. Weird. So that's why looking around... I guess I'll try this burned area then and see if I can get to the tower this way. I, th that's why this place looks so empty. It has two separate areas covered in like a dome of fog that you can't get through. One was that nighttime sh puzzle. Now we've got some kind of foggy... Is that... Is that... Oh crap, hi. Maybe it's the village, or maybe it's the forest that our, our Korok seed friend ran off to? Maybe I just need to find the correct entrance to it? Because I could have sworn that when I flew in, it went, yeah ha ha But it, I couldn't quite make it out. It sounded distorted and far away and echoey. But it sounded like it fit the bill. Hey, animals. Don't mind me, just trying to make my way to that tower. It's still taunting me on the horizon. I just keep having to go around things. Until this moment, I've never really been rejected from flying in a, in a direction. Like, not, not, not that way, where you literally just get kicked out. Unless I'm not going into an abyss or something, but, uh... I jumped away from that maze and went straight towards that kind of teleport, and then here it is again. Once again, it's a case of not being able to proceed because it kicks you out. So d despite the cold-ish appearance of the screen, I am increasing in heat right now as we approach the volcano. It's getting closer and closer to hitting the peak where I'm going to start taking damage, actually. Concerning. Oh! I hear- I see you. Yep, there's the weird lizard. Hey there! Oh, wow. With the right... What? That's infuriating. They're so far... Ah! Okay. Yeah, ha ha! I was about to say, that's infuriating. I've got to lead the shot so far away that I hit those distant targets as they teleport in. Like, that's... That would have been tough. Turns out I can just wait for it to come right back here. Kind of undoing the entire threat. Is that... Oh, that's a Moblin town. I'm trying to make my way over there. Yeah, that's, that cherry blossom tree is definitely in the middle of this... ...thing. This big foresty mass. Is that... 
are we mo are we blood mooning? No. I thought the music was blood mooning for a second there, but I think it's just uh, I think it's just leaning towards uh, oh, maybe it's just local theme or something. What is that? Oh right, that's the beast. Something, yep, something on fire is chasing me. I thought that's what I heard. Don't do that. Leave me alone. You're gonna regret it. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get- no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. I thought that his parts were gonna fall off the mountain. I could probably make that. I really should have rested up first. See ya. Yeah, walking across that would have been t would have taken a while, I think. We're close. We're get. Oh, is something on top of that mountain? Is it barricaded? Not the mountain, the tower. I mean. The last one. I wonder if there's gonna be a quirk for this one. And what's going on down there? It looks burned. Exhausted. Is it a ghost forest? But it has one beautiful, like, giant tree in the middle. It actually looks... Reminds me of Ori in the Blind Forest. That vague visual. A weird... Like, unfortunate... Kind of unfortunate looking forest, but with, like, a beautiful tree in the middle. That's kind of the core of the whole thing. Ooh. Howdy. Thank you. Always mine every resource. I'll learn to regret it later if I make if it's not worth the durability. So let's try going to the tower, then checking out this forest. Like maybe maybe if I approach from land it'll let me in. Maybe I'm just not supposed to fly in. Maybe that's just a concession they made based on the idea that it would mess with the general progression you're supposed to take through the area. After that, though, I'll be out of secrets for a little while, and I'll be ready to check out the Divine Beasts, starting with the, uh, the bird one, the Rito. Which I've been corrected many times with the idea that the Rito were already in Zelda. Although, the previous one that I've seen before is the idea that, like, they... I think there's the Wind Waker one, where they just look like... Just like they look like a, a tiny, adorable chibi people, but with, like, a bird beak, and that was it. As opposed to, like, full-formed, like, anthropomorphized bird creatures. But maybe there's, there's probably been a bunch of other variations, too. Listen, I haven't played Zelda. <laughs> I- it, it absorbs through osmosis, but this is my this is the only Zelda I've played besides Oracle of Seasons? And I don't really remember that game. Is there a land connection? To the forest? Yeah, it's right here. That's probably how I'm supposed to go in. First, though, last tower seems to be heavily fortified by goons. Oh, it's in a mud path. I heard sounds. What's that? Is it nothing? Was that just nature noise and not like a uh, coral or anything? Well, we can grab things as we go. Are these truffles? Nope. Razor shrooms. I want truffles more than anything! Health and health maximizers are great. Oh. There's some- so it looks like it's water instead of mud this time, but there's something under the water that is spreading l l electricity? Dragon bone boko bat? Dang. Probably want that. Let's see, what do I have that's kind of crappy? My inventory's been pretty great lately. Poink! Oh, oh, oh. So the good news is the, the rain just stopped. I feel like not being able to climb would have kind of complicated things around here. Oh! That sucks. I briefly thought that the rain was showing up because it was part of the challenge. Like, this whole place is going to be permanently raining because you're not supposed to be able to climb. Effectively. 
that's not the way things have gone. I... Uh oh. Aiming's hard. <laughs> Yay! If only there was experience to gain, huh? That's my goal. I'm pretty far along the path here. I guess... I guess if I, they probably want me to start over there and, like, make my way across this whole structure. But instead, I seem to... I think I'm kind of starting on the final gauntlet. Oh, don't know why it let go. I didn't tell it to do that. I may be able to knock him off with the power of physics. Physics! Physics! Power of physics! Uh. Oh, don't, don't crash game. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. List of things I was not ready for is the idea that it was gonna break, but of course it would. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Uh oh, grown rocks. Didn't your mom ever tell you not to do that? Uh oh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was a poorly made decision on your part, but thank you. That's more or less what I was aiming for. Ooh, you cooked the you cooked all the local resources for me. Thank ya. Ooh. Appreciated. That's... I couldn't have done that better on purpose. Ah! Why? The Woodland Tower, it's called. Uh-oh. That limits my options. Go around. I could actually use this tower to climb a lot of that tower. In an indirect sort of way. Maybe get out of that guy's range. What's going on up there? Huh. There's like a rocky shield up there. Is it clear? Seems like it. I wonder if the shield is any kind of obstacle or if it's just like a... a garnish. <laughs> Like, oh, look at this visual. Isn't this interesting? And that's it. Maybe a sign that it's been fully taken over by the local moblins and bokoblins. Oh, wait. It's probably a... It, oh, yeah. It's a skull, right? Because the idea is actually... Because these aren't... The, I, was, I was thinking in terms of history, but there wouldn't be... Wow, look, there's like a whole approach I was probably supposed to take. There wouldn't be history to this tower because the history, the uh, the tower has only recently rose up. So it probably was, they probably built a shelter over the top of this tower and then it it, it uh, sprung up. What? The rocks? Hi. Oh, I almost broke the amber. Whoops. Yeah. It'd be great if it like Rube Goldborg all the way down and hit something specifically. But yeah, they put a shelter here, and then the tower sprung up as a surprise, and that, like, now that that's just hanging off the tower. That's a good detail. It's like when we had that one scientist guy or whatever that was hanging out on top of a tower because he's stuck up there. Which has happened twice now? Whereas, uh, Cass was just on top of a tower because he could be, basically. Uh, so each of these towers has things on top of them because, uh... Like, that there was- there just was a country here, and like, the tower's rising was a surprise for everyone.
There it is! It's the last big old piece. Let's go ahead and undo you. Clink. Alright. So here's the first place I found. The Kito Wawa's Blessing. It's all obscured by darkness. Blobby, blobby darkness. This whole back area is the Badlands. Just, just changing names for the same description of location. Ooh. So we saw that on the map before. Oh, that's right, that's where I went. Did I go there? No, that's Skull Lake. I don't think I've been... ...in that circle yet, have I? Have I not visited there? I think I went to Skull Lake and then I stopped. But checking that out's probably important. That, 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 that spot seems like it would be the, uh... That might be one of the, uh, what do you call it? The... Mem the memories. Is this the Goro? That's probably the Goron village, right? Surrounded by lava and stuff. Yeah, take this road up there. Maybe along the way somebody can sell the kind of resource I need to survive there, because it got dangerous fast. Yeah, at the time, I'm like, oh, look how close together these are. And I'm like, I'll just fly from here to there. Everything was on fire here. Could have gone around, I suppose, but that, I had more fun going this way. And look how filled in everything is. I'm definitely amused by the fact, though, that I was like, oh, let's... We'll go get my house, and the Sheikah Slate upgrade, and so on and so forth, and then I'll just fly up here! Look! And then I was like, oh look, there's three towers all next to each other, might as well just fill those in, that'll be the shortest thing ever, and it was the longest thing ever. <laughs> I set it on that mission so long ago, holy crap. But we've done it, it's filled in, tons of shrines are completed, Fill full map is done. And it's about, yeah, it's about time to set out a new quest. But first, the heck is this place, right? Obviously, we gotta check this out. Which way am I facing? There we go. So this is the land bridge that actually connects to this forest area. What is inside? And what kicked me out last time? Seems like approaching on land is the way to go. Probably gotta stick to the, the path, for starters. Maybe the entire place teleports you back to the entrance whenever you make a mistake about which way to go. Oopsie. Do I have you yet? Ah! Gotcha. To the compendium. Well, I guess he's gonna find out what's inside there first. Ooh. Definitely got like an enchanted- oh, Lost Woods. Oh yeah, there's a puzzle here, isn't there? <laughs> One way or another, it gets things done the easy way, right? Alright, so I've got a fire. And we'll figure out the Lost Woods. Did I- did I light all of those just now? With my bouncy fire? Holy crap, me. I bet if you str oop. Got that one already? I bet if you stray from the path, it teleports you out. And that's why I got kicked out last time. Oh wow, they're all lit. I thought that I got lucky bounce or something, but it seems like the, the whole thing is pre-lit this way. I probably have to go from torch to torch in order, or I'll get kicked out or something. Oh. There's a trick here, huh? Is there a message anywhere that explains what to do? I don't- I don't see like- like, when we walk in, there's no message given to us. And I don't see any, like, slates around here that explain anything. Oops. <laughs> Lit myself on fire a little bit. I do see a fire, like, way out there. Maybe I just gotta go for it? There's the next fire. Maybe it's just standing still takes you out. Indecision. Oh, hi. Forest Dweller's Spear, that's pretty normal. 
Not in a big hurry there. Hello, living creepy tree. How you doing? Uh, I don't see anywhere to go yet. I'm just gonna run for it. Uh oh. Well. There's a puzzle afoot. But what is it? So here's a weird detail. So I clearly made progress because they spawned me here. Instead of the entrance this time. Let's see. They're giving me a torch. Like it's just sitting here. So is the torch important? Do I follow the embers? Did they change direction or anything? Oh. Oh, that stuff in the distance is just Hyrule Castle. I thought it might be important for a second there. Is that another creepy mouth tree? You bet it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like an oogie boogie tree. Is it pointing at this guy? Over here. Oh. That one's full of stuff, too. An opal! And now my torch is out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that didn't work. Sorry for destroying the forest, nature. Look at him bounce. Alright, you're pointing this way. Half this place is sentient like trees. Probably not sentient, but like creepy mouth face trees. Pointing this way. Oh, we're approaching something now. Isn't that interesting? Is that another one? Nope. Thought there was a chest inside. Why are you afraid of me, birds? So the, the thing's telling me where a shrine might be, but I'm afraid to go running off. Based on anything other than this, this ember. They don't want it to teleport me back out. Is this working? I mean, it must be, because we're getting close to a shrine, apparently. Quick snap! Oh. Thought I was missing my chance. You little pain. Aha! <laughs> You're starting to jump again, but I gotcha. You weird, floaty cricket. Oh, right, that takes my torch away. Well, I guess I'll just trust this path. I mean, it's a linear path right now. Hey! Oh, there's Koroks everywhere! Look at that! Photograph oh, the Koroks. Mine. This is their home? So I was right about the yahaha ha at the time, huh? Oh. That's a big deal. Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you! <sighs> Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm? Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me 
But you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. <sighs> the sword cares not for your physical might, it is moved by what lies within. It cuts through bravado and superficial enhancements. Only true strength can draw it from its resting place. The only way to know if you have what it takes is to try. Dun dun dun! That's a goddamn Master Sword. No pressure, just if you're wrong, you'll die. 